I've uh, had quite an interest in boxing as a sport in Australia. A few reasons why. It was extremely popular in the early part of the Australian story, particularly on the gold fields where fisticuff fights were held, uh, but also right through the second half of the 19th century and the early part of the 20th century. My grandfather lived on Balmain Road at Leichhardt, where there was a famous boxing and wrestling stadium just behind the, um, the pub on the, um, on the corner of Parramatta Road and Balmain Road. Uh, and then I moved into the um, Potts Point a couple, well, 20 odd years ago, and uh, I started work on a book that I published called The Good Old Bad Old Days. And one of the areas of interest there was the Sydney Stadium. So um, I was interested in its uh, history as a boxing rink, but also the prehistory where the Great Burns and Johnson fight was staged on what became White City, where something like 20,000 plus people came to see this world champion fight. Um, a couple of times I recorded out from old singers the um, song of Les Darcy, sheer doggerel, uh, probably the, <laughs> the best example of doggerel in the Australian tradition. The best example of doggerel in the Australian tradition. Uh, some of the rhymes simply are stretched to the limit. I'll sing it. Way down in the USA, where poor Les Darcy died, Australia's pride and joy, yes, Maitland's fighting boy, how we long for the night for to see Les Darcy fight. How he'd hit them, how he'd slog them every Saturday night. The critics round the door said they had never saw a lad like Les before fighting on that stadium floor. Oh, they said he was a skiter, but he proved himself a fighter. But we lost all hope when he took the dope way down in the USA. That was a parody of uh, a very well-known song at the time. Another interesting boxing song, because it mentions many of the boxers' names, is a song called Christening the Baby, which comes from a Boer War um, song uh, about Kitchener. Um, but it's a bit of a tongue twister, but... Um, I'll refer to my notes here because I never sing it, but I like it. And I did sing it for a while, uh, but it's one of those songs that have passed out of my memory, I think. Since boxing has become the craze, I'm fairly off my dot. For everybody's talk and fight, I wish that they would stop. It's Tommy Burns and Johnson. No matter where you go, for it's the only subject that the people seem to know. There's Tompkins, he's my pal. He's got it on the brain. He'll argue, fight from morn till night. He'll drive you just insane. His wife, she took the baby to be christened the other day. The priest said, ah, oh, what's his name? And I heard the old girl say, Oh, the baby's name is Sullivan, Felix, Foley, Jackson and Roche, Squires and Thompson, Barnes and Johnson, Robert Fitzsimmons and Batten and Nelson, Bill Lang, Bob Quidley, Slaven and Victor the Chief, Hefferty Tim, Jeffries, Jim Griffo and Paddy O'Keefe. Now my old woman's just as bad She's got the boxing craze, and just to show what she can do on my right optic gaze, she bought a book on boxing, and she practices on me. She knocked me out for three last night while we were having tea. And just because I came home late and up the stairs did creep, she landed me an uppercut and sent me off to sleep. And last week when we went to church to have our kitty named, the parson nearly took a fit 
when he heard my old girl exclaim. Oh, the baby's name is Sullivan, Felix, Foley, Jackson and Roche, Squires and Thompson, Barnes and Johnson, Robert Fitzsimmons and Batten and Nelson, Bill Lang, Bob Quidley, Slaven and Victor the Chief, Hefferty Tim, Jeffries, Jim Griffo and Paddy O'Keefe.